If you're not using this dry fly, you're missing out. To start, we'll grab some Parawing, I like to use a high-vis orange, and secure it tightly to the top of the hook shank. We'll use this to create a post. Pulling the fibers up, use your thread to secure it, continue extending your post slightly, wrapping back down to the base, and snipping the Parawing to length, and grab some dubbing. Here I'm using a March Brown color. You can find the specific dubbing I'm using in the links below. Create a dubbing noodle, and begin wrapping this up the hook shank until we reach our post. We'll grab some saddle hackle and secure it to the hook shank, leaving a bit of extra material so we can wrap it up the post. With this complete, wrap to the bottom of your post and grab a different colored dubbing. I like to use a second color that complements the first and is typically a bit darker. Grab your saddle feather and begin to hackle this around the post. Doing so in closed touching spirals until you reach your thread. Secure in place and this is the clink hammer. Its profile looks like an emerging insect and makes a great addition to any dry fly box.